over on my stream, twitch.tv slash physicsoh, we built a brachistochrone. This device demonstrates that the brachistochrone is the path from point A to point B with the least amount of travel time. Here we have three paths, one, two, and three. Which do you think is the brachistochrone path? If this is the type of content that just tickles your fancy, hop over to my Twitch channel and drop a follow. I stream every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Without further ado, I present DIY, but why, the Brachistochrone. Here we are. Let's do some building, huh? Okay, now, <clears throat> to get a cycloid shape, I don't really know where the first thing is, but I think I'm going to build the cycloid first. So I thought maybe for the cycloid, I would use the circle we made last week. My, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, what did I just pull? Uh-oh. Am I still connected? <laughs> I am, that's good. So I thought we'd use the circle I made last week for the cycloid. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I get it, I get it. There's an extra requirement. Your function's always got to be greater than zero or less than zero for the function to be a minimum or maximum second derivative, but it's not that required to <laughs> Stop. The back of the ladybug is the shape of cycloid. Ah, we should have grabbed the ladybug. We could have made it into our cycloid. Uh, uh, stencil. Um, so let's get some cardboard and make our cycloid. I don't know how big I want to make it. I have a couple objects that we can test it with, uh, being the... Uh, golf balls. Uh, and I want to build three. I want to build the cycloid in the middle. I want to build the straight line. And then I want to build a very exaggerated one. So we could do three of these or three golf balls or something along those lines. So I'm going to get some Round is a shape. hard board. I have a very sharp exacto knife, which is nice. <sighs> And what we'll do is we'll make the cycloid shape on the cardboard. Let's see here. Hopefully, this works. Now we're going to need something to hold this in place. Um, what's a good thing I could use for it? Now we can try this a few times. I'll hold my book here. And while it doesn't have to be perfect, ooh, big oof. Actually, that might be all right. Yeah, that might be all right. While it doesn't have to be perfect, we want it to sort of, uh, we want it to work. So I think we'll just go slowly and see what happens. I think we're slipping. We are slipping. We're slipping. Okay. What's a good... I need something that's like tough but textured. Okay. Let's let's do this. See, now it's going to grab well. Okay. Now let's see if we can make this turn. There we go. It's still slipping some. But not bad. <laughs> Let's see if I can smooth it out some. But here is our our shape. Let's try it again. Let's do a couple times and see if we can make sh see if how like accurate it is. We can take the average of the few times. Clearly not an engineer. Definitely. Is this flat? No, it's not. Let's try to get it. All right. Now it's flat. So. <clears throat> 911 on standby. <laughs> Anyways, so then the idea is going to be to make a second one of these. 
And what we'll want to do is uh, make the two of them into a track. So I think we'll do that first. So we'll make the two of these that we're about to get here into a track. And uh, once they're in a track, then we can, uh, <clears throat> what's the word? Oh yeah, then we can, we'll, we'll make the base and then we'll stick these on the base and we'll give it a run, see if it works, and see how it works. It's a good album. Weird Al album. <clears throat> there we go. That's our first track. Might make it a little thinner on the top here, on this side. Not much thinner, just a little bit. Okay. Now, let's see if we can make another one then, huh? <clears throat> but now we have it, so we can just trace it. Now, the other thing that's really cool about the Brachistochrone is the cycloid shape is, uh, let me make sure I get this pronunciation right, is it's called ice. Isochronous. <clears throat> Iso, same, and chronos. Time, very good. So what that means is, uh, if you were to release the balls at any point on this curve, it's gonna hit the bottom at the same time. Did I get that right? that fit in. Perfectly. Nice. Okay. So let's cut this and then we'll have our first, we'll have the two pieces that are going to make up our track. All right. Well, I do have to shave it down. They need to have some spacing though. Let's see here. Hey, that should work. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's get some measurements though. What size should we measure our board to? Um, I love your builds. I think you should do a physics channel one day. <laughs> so that's two and a half. So now let's get the base built. <clears throat> let's put it together, I should say. Okay, so I stripped that one. So that's just going to be there. <laughs> but it looks good. <laughs> I stripped the daylights out of that one. <clears throat> Good news! Looks pretty good though. Um, he's a physicist, there's no helping these guys. <laughs> there it Dear is. Dear Lord Serac Holcomb, he build like my nerves depend on it. <laughs> danger, danger. Now we can just glue it. I had my dates tell me I am a piece of donkey posterior. Good day, sir. <laughs> I don't even know what to make about that, but it sounds pretty sad. <laughs> Tyrion, you're too much, dude. <laughs> okay, so now we can try to figure out a straight line. Um, we have one foot by, this is probably going to be seven inches. It's seven and a quarter. Okay, so there's that, and then we'll take the square root of that. Okay, run this number, guys. I got 14. Uh, okay, I got it. Um, I got 14.02. So we'll just do 14 inches for the uh, for the diameter or for the hypotenuse of this, the straight line. We 
We still have to revisit the Tesla coil. I don't know guys, I think it's pretty good. Let's do one more uh, track though. Let's do a steep one, huh? Boy, why? Why did he just like go in front of me and he was like, hey, I'm a bee, I'm a sting ya. <sighs> Let's attach. Nice. Oh, that's pretty good too. Ah! That's nice. Three tracks. Are you guys watching? Whoa, 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 whoa. easy, 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 easy. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. My emotional life is a black hole, but I remain electrically neutral. <laughs> Ready? Watch closely. Here we go. We'll do a couple of runs, but three, two, one. What'd you guys see? Gonna need slow MO on that, boss. All right, now I can just open it as a media source though. Watch that, here we go. And I can pull it up right here. Ready? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Pow, pow, look at that! I felt it again. See if it does it again, it should do it Let's... again. So we pull it up, okay, ready? release Three, it. Three, two, one. Bam, look at that. Middle, closest, farthest. I felt it again. There it is. Look at that. I felt it again. Very, very nice. Let's... There's just not quite enough room for each of them to be happy. I can smell that burning CPU over here. I actually let the yellow one out first and the red one still beat it. <laughs> but there it is. You can smell that burning CPU. I know. We've been working that. I got to give it a break now. Anyways, guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's building stream. Um, spray painted gold that will become a physics trophy for some undergrad. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Did you like that? Was that cool? This was like my ideal building stream where we do something with Lagrangian mechanics first and then we go ahead and solve the, uh, we, we actually build the item and then solve it. So if you missed the Lagrangian mechanics, feel free to check out the VOD. 